G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. A new feature rolling out to SharePoint Online is the much anticipated collapsible sections. Now, collapsible sections are gonna allow you to create some really information dense pages in SharePoint and allow you to, to really take advantage of the, the real estate on a page. Have the sections collapsible like a, an accordion style uh, scenario that you typically see uh, across consumer facing websites as well. Um, some use cases are frequently asked questions and things like that and that's the topic we're going to have a look at how we can utilize collapsible sections and create a, a, an information rich FAQ page for us. All right, so let's dive in straight away and have a look. And you can see here that I'm on a SharePoint communication site. And the first thing I'm going to do is just create a new page. So we'll click up uh, here on the new menu and we'll click page. Let's create um, a visual page here and let's go create. Now, this page here, let's just call it uh, FAQs. All right, and we'll, what we might actually do is, let's just create and start from scratch. So I'm going to uh, just delete all of these sections. Actually, I'm going to leave that one there. Um, and let's remove this one. Right, so we've got a, a base page here. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new one, actually, I'm going to add a new two column section. All right, now in the, the properties of this section, you'll notice here that I've got the ability here to make this selection collapsible. So when I turn this to on, I can give this section a display name. So on the topic of FAQs, I'm going to pose the question here as the section display name, and I'll call it, how do I create an expense claim approval? We will set the default display to collapsed, all right, and you can see that I've got two columns. So what we might wanna do here is let's add a web part across on the left-hand column here, and we'll just add a text-based column. Now, we need some text, right? So what we're gonna do here, let me just grab some uh, placeholder text. We'll copy that in here just as an example. There's the answer. But what we might wanna do also to this FAQ is just add a little bit more value here. All right, so on the right hand column, what we can do is add, what I'm gonna do here is just add a video. So I'm gonna add a YouTube clip here. I'm gonna grab the YouTube URL. I'm gonna paste it in this, uh, in this uh, text box here. It's gonna embed that on the page, all right? I can now um, see that I've got the question. Let's just get rid of this. I've got the answer here. What we might actually do also is just go answer and let's bold this, all right? And let's now publish this. So what when we publish this page, we've set it to um, collapsible by default. So you can see here that I've got the title, I've got the drop down arrow here, and when I click on the drop down arrow, it expands and I've got the text and the video on the right hand side. Let's continue on here. What we might do now is pop this page back into edit mode and let's now use this section that was pre-created when we created the page. We'll jump into uh, the, the section properties. We'll turn this on as well. Now in this one, what we're gonna do is add the next question, all right? We'll default it to collapsed, all right? Now, I'm just gonna change this a little bit here. I'm gonna remove this image. We'll keep the image on the right-hand side. I'm gonna remove this text. And again, what I wanna do here is I want to add another YouTube clip here. So we've now got two images, a YouTube clip um, for this uh, FAQ here. Now, we might not want this image here, so let's remove this. And now I've got some text it's collapsible, I'll republish it, and now I've got two FAQs, all right? So expand, expand, and there I've got a two column layout in this section, I've got a three column layout in this section, and we can continue on building out this page. Now, in addition to that, I'm just gonna turn off the comments as well. Let's enhance this a little bit further. So. 
if I select this section here, we might wanna break the page up a little bit. And we can do this by having section backgrounds. And I'm just gonna place the gray section background across this section here. And let's take a look at how that looks. So you can see now we can organize things in more of a, like a zebra style uh, formatting here as well. All right, just to break the page up a little bit uh, from a, a, a user interface point of view. Now, again, let's enhance this a little bit further. I might wanna change the title section so we can still do this. And what I might do is just uh, reduce the height of that. We'll choose image and title and let's continue building this page out. I'm gonna add now a vertical section on the right hand side. And again, I'm just gonna break this up a little bit visually. We'll keep it a gray color. And what we might also want to do here, this you know this this FAQ page could be on a on a departmental page or a or a functional group page or a topic page, and we might want to add a contact person for more information. So what we're going to do here, we'll add the people uh, web part, and we'll pop Alex in as the more information. We then might also want to add some quick links. All right, and we title this called references and then we could also add some links in here all right so what we might do i'm just going to pop in uh google here www.google.com and we'll insert that let's give it a an icon and we'll find the search icon here we'll click change We'll go for the search icon and we'll place that there. All right, now let's now add another section. We'll add another FAQ. We'll add it as a one column. All right, so we've now got a one column. Let's make it collapsible. I've got another, um, uh, another frequently asked question here about installing Microsoft lists. Uh, as a PWA. So let's uh, instruct people on how they can go about doing that. So we'll add the text in here. Um, we'll grab, I do have a little YouTube video here too, but what we might do is just change the display a little bit. Let's add the YouTube clip here um, in the full one section column. We'll add some text in here. Uh, let me just grab some, some placeholder text. Again, copy and we'll paste that in there and we will now republish that. So as you can see in the in the space of about five minutes, we're now, what we're doing is we're now looking um, at a, a really nice engaging information rich page that's not taking up the, uh, the, the whole real estate. We're really making use of the real estate on the page by using these collapsible sections as well. I'm just gonna turn this off. Um, now, we might wanna highlight one of these and, and make that expanded by default. So let's say we've got this first one. What we might do here is go expanded. We'll republish this and you can see that that first one now is expanded, but the other two um, are collapsed by default. All right, so there we go. Collapsible sections in SharePoint Online, rolling out now, really good way for us to create some really information dense pages, make use of the real estate in an accordion manner here. Uh, really good use case around FAQs, really easy way to set that up. So I really hope that brings you some value. You can start creating some really engaging, information dense and rich pages with collapsible sections. Thanks for watching, see you next time.